Shaka. Welcome into the latest edition of Extra Time. Stevie has a question for Shaka. Here, it right is. Here we go. It's exciting. Right in. No, who you did got you... to write in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got to write in. Uh, yes, but you're, but you're off X Twitter. Okay. <laughs> Where did you hear about that unwritten rule of refereeing? Huh? You know that unwritten rule of refereeing? Yeah. It's, it's about the, the Real Madrid goal. Everybody knows that, Stephen. Yeah, what is it again? I've forgotten it. You don't, you don't blow the, you don't blow the whistle when the team's on the attack. I didn't know that. That unwritten rule. <laughs> What's going on? What <laughs> am I missing here? What have they been missing? Yeah, unwritten rule. What's going on? But the unwritten rule. Learn how to read. Oh, <laughs> that's not very nice, is it? Yeah. Where's that book? Okay, here we go. We have the questions. How are you, Robbo? You're having a lovely time. I'm having a lovely time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Stevie gave me a lift home last night. Yeah. Did he? Yeah. 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 Oh, very nice. We're going for dinner tonight, aren't we? Are we? Yeah. I think so. <laughs> Stevie, else? Can you come Stevie only really invited me yeah. because he was hoping that I would give him a lift home afterwards. Oh, I see. Which I've told him I'm not going to do because it's a bit out of my way. What's the over-under for extra time minutes expired before Robbo mentions Shaka's Maserati? <laughs> <laughs> I felt it hasn't been mentioned what? for a while. No, uh, well, I think it's all gone now. I think it's, it's been said enough. Yeah, too much? Yeah, yeah, too yeah much. right. Yeah, 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 I, I yeah, think yeah. we all know that he's Flash. So we don't need to say There's a next question about Phil Neal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 what can Barcelona achieve this season? Robbo, you commentated this game. Uh, so they're, in, they're in trouble now, aren't they? They've got yeah. Napoli's second leg. They probably won't have Pedri, won't have De Jong. I think they beat Napoli. Oh, do you think so? But I don't think they get any further than that. No. They're going to come second in La Liga. Oh. Uh, the Girona are playing poorly at the moment. Yes. Uh, they'll get enough points to get second, but they won't get anywhere near Real Madrid. Okay. So that's what they can expect. Stevie, when the manager is delusional about his team's bad performances, how do players react to it? Are they secretly relieved that their manager thinks they did all right and happy to escape the blame, or are they worried about being managed by someone who is clueless? I don't know who this could be in reference. Well, the, the experienced guys and the sensible guys, after a while, will start scratching their head. Right. Because we all understand when the manager comes out after a game and says, says things that we know are not true, but you kind of figure a reason why he's doing it. Okay. I think he's, he's, he's either doing it to protect you or whatever it may be. Protect himself as well? Protect, there's, there's many reasons, but eventually, after a while, when the manager keeps talking about how well, you, how well the team's doing and how things are getting better, you know, as a player, Mm. When the team's playing well and the team's not playing well, and the new manager keeps coming out spouting rubbish, right? You start thinking, hold on a second, this guy, is this guy serious? What he says in the dressing room might be totally different to what he says in the press. But the people that will get upset by him, by any manager, keep saying, "Oh, we did okay, and we could have won the game." When they obviously play bad, are yeah. the fans? The fans go, "Why is our manager telling us we've watched the game yes. that our team are playing well?" That's when you get in trouble as a manager. We just, we just talked about this, Shaq. Percentage of chance that Barcelona qualify for the next Champions League stage after Pedri and De Jong's injury. Um, so it's 1-1, isn't it? After the first leg in Italy. Yeah, I, listen, I, I, I just have no confidence in, in this, this version of Barcelona. I, I agree with Robo, I think they finished second, but almost by default. They finished second in, in, in La Liga because Girona are plummeting, and, and Girona have been a fantastic story all season long. Let's take nothing away from them. But they finished second just because nobody else has, has put together any way of a decent run and, and can challenge them. Um, so, and, and now with all two key players up against up against Napoli, I, 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 I'm not sure they get past Napoli. No, so, and to answer the question? What was the question again? Percentage. <laughs> the percentage chance. Don's not answering this question either. I'm going to go... 55% Napoli, 45% Barcelona. Higher or lower, Stephen? I'm going with Shaka. Yeah, 55-45. Robo was really quick and really positive that Barcelona were going to beat Napoli. Yeah. yeah. Not I'm because Barcelona Shaka. are playing particularly well, but no, I don't think no, Napoli no, are a good side. Napoli just beat Juventus. No, no, just, yeah, I'm going with Shaka. I've, I've seen, <coughs> seen Juventus play the last couple of weeks. They're not a particularly good side. Yeah. Shaka's yeah. been ill, by the way, since he's come back from Carnival. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, sneezing. Yeah. Yeah. Nose is running. <laughs> the unwritten rule is when you follow a keeper, you have to agree with them. Yeah. What are you <laughs> talking about? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, you're the master of unwritten rules. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody knows that one. Uh. God. Uh, right, for Stevie, in order to win on Sunday, what must Liverpool do to have any chance? Clean sheet, easy peasy, clean sheet, get a bit of luck, 
Keller has got to be at his best. Right. The back four have got to defend like, like Trojans. OK. Because they will cause some problems going forward. Yes. Because Liverpool, that's what they do. Yep. But it's all about... But will they match up to Man City? Will they go and try and press them and will they try and play high intensity or will they sit deep and just allow Man City? No, no, they'll try and play the game. I don't, I don't think they can play any other way. And the game is at Anfield, yes? The game is at Anfield, yes. yeah. Yes. How do you use Madison, Saka, Foden, Bellingham behind Kane in the Euros? Who's, who's, oh. that come, who's that from, oh, Dan Thomas? Exciting. Does that yeah, come yeah, from Dan exciting. Thomas? We're brilliant. Oh. Name them, say those names again. Uh, Madison, Saka, Foden, Bellingham, Kane. I'm not sure the manager will pick Madison at the moment. I think he'll play uh, Saka one side. He'll okay. probably play Foden the other side. Yes. Um, uh, who were the other ones? Kane is going to play up front, obviously. Yeah, Bellingham. Bellingham in behind. In behind. I, if, if I was playing Bellingham now, I wouldn't put him all the way back in central midfield as he's done before. Yes. You'd play him as a, a second striker. Because and that's then Declan where Rice holding. Declan Rice holding. Um, it's going to be brilliant, Stevie. How excited Dad well, The is. problem is, that, the guy that's going to decide, that's the problem. What? Well, how can you well, not? The guy who's going to decide really who plays and who doesn't. They just told him where to play. If he's watching, then it's easy. Fish, bash, boss. How excited that is. Because you look at that. You're going to get to the semi. Eh? You're going to get to the semi. You're going to come out all guns blazing. You're going to go one up after about 10 minutes. And then he'll start taking all the forwards off and get everybody in tight. No. No, we're going to win it. When the big games have come around, he's made some bad tactical decisions. You lose 2 oh, 1. Yeah, all right. Stop being so excited about that fact. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, personally, I hope they don't even reach the semi, but... Who's the back four? Oh, blah, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, the back okay. four? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I forgot you hate well, England. I mean, Chilwell, now he's fit, could play at left-back. No, no, no. well, uh, Shaw's not fit. Good. Shaw was his left-back for a while. Um, he's going to play Stones at centre-half, I'd imagine. Yes. Um, he's played Maguire in most yeah. games. Yeah. Maguire's back United, in the Manchester United, United team, so he's been well in. And he's done well for England. Right back, it's difficult because the outstanding one's not fit, which is the Chelsea um, Chelsea fullback who's not played for quite some while, so they've got to pick somebody at right back. Reece Walker. James. Walker. Reece Walker is the player that has to play at right yeah. back. Yeah, I don't think that's even a debate, no. is it? That's fine. Uh, how did Robert get to Spain and back that fast? Of course, did. Uh... i tell you what. <laughs> when you turn left in the plane, some of those planes go really quickly. Wow, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever travel on Concord back in the day? No, I didn't. No, 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 I thought that would be kind of your sort of thing. Not really, no. No? No, no, no. I, was, I didn't have that much money. Did you do Concord? I did, I. Did you? Did you? Yeah, 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 well, 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 Steve had that much money. Hold on, hold on. It was from, it was from Manchester to Glasgow. So it never even got high enough to get any speed up. It was his last trip. What a waste of time. Yeah. What, 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 what a waste of time. Yeah. yeah well. Could have taken an Uber. I <laughs> <laughs> got there quicker. Well, yeah. that's a disappointment. Oh, got a flight. I was Just expecting. Oh, there you are. Chaka, you're an engineer. Do you like Concorde? <laughs> I, I, I've never taken a Concorde. Oh. I well, can't now, it's gone. I can make, get one from uh, Manchester to Glasgow. <laughs> For Robbo, now that you're back in the US, what are you doing? <laughs> or where are you going first? Is there anything you want to see or do that you didn't get to do the last time you were here? Well, one of the, I try and avoid you most of the no, time, but I come back to you. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's a lie, no, no, Yeah, you love it, yeah, oh, Robbo loves it. it. Work, 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 Dan. Oh, Very much. Lord, yeah, yeah you, what you do, you, you have to research the games you're doing. Research you're for these shows. You're not doing shows. any games, are you, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? Research for the shows, Dan. Show research? What's that? Watching the game? Well, watching the games. Yeah. I haven't got time to do anything else. Oh, you've got plenty of time. Did you go to the gym yesterday? You were... uh, no, I didn't. Oh. I went this morning instead. Oh, lovely. Yep. Very nice. Um, Did you go for a swim, jacuzzi, the whole shebang? No. No. No, no. An hour, uh, half an hour on the cross trainer. And yes. A, a few weights for half an hour, and that was a lot. Has Stevie shared with you his new exercise regime? No, what's, what's, what's uh, Stevie's yeah. fitness regime then? Yeah, what's your, what's your, what's, what's, uh, <laughs> what got planned for you? I'm, I'm flying. Right, come on. <laughs> you know, I know I walk in the morning. Yeah, with the dog. Yeah. Biggest what, dog in the world. Five minutes in an hour swim in the afternoon. Yeah. Then well, take the dog walk, out again. Because yeah. he can't, his arm doesn't mean yeah, he can walk, swim. Yeah. But what I would say, Stevie, and particularly Shaka, <laughs> when we're doing the game, Rob and I are doing the games from Spain or right. Hammersmith, wherever, the standard dress code now is magnificent on the show. Wow, there you are. It is, it is million times better than it used to be, wouldn't you say? I don't know, I don't really pay that much attention. Well, we do, we watch it. And well, apart from Craig's T-shirts, oh, that, they've, 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 they've got a go. They've got a go. That's Gibbs' fault. That's, 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 that's a Gen Z, that's a Gen Z You missed out part of your exercise regime. Well, I'm started that, mate. Tell Robert what it's going to be. 
Well, I don't know, because you haven't shown me. <laughs> um, Emily came in last week, right? Yeah. <laughs> she went, right, so we started swimming last week again. Because we were like, let it go, we'd been doing yeah. it, we let it go. Yeah. So, as I said, walk in the morning, walk at night, yeah. the swimming, and she went, right, we're going to do the swimming. And then when we come back, we're going to do sitting exercises. Sitting exercises? <laughs> What's and I was like, ah, so you, did you see that on the phone or something? Where did you see that? She went, no, I'm, just, I'm, I'm, I'm researching it just now. Right. We're going to do that. So you literally sat in the chair doing stretches? I don't stretches. know, because I've done it yet. That's exciting. I keep asking her. Yeah. Goes, well, we'll do it tomorrow. Oh, man, you could live stream it for us. I, I think you've been sitting great to me, Steve. <laughs> I've got to say, you're looking really well. You're looking really well. It's working. It's working. You're one of the best sitters I've seen for a long time. Beautifully. You can go swimming in the winter, though. Oh, no. No. Indoor pool. That's it. We're done. Are we done? We are. ESPN FC is back tomorrow. Arsenal are taking on... Stand up, now, Steve. Arsenal are taking on Sheffield United. You're here, Robbo, yeah? Oh, I am, yes. Which one of you two is here? I'm here, I'm here. There you go.